Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching The Bad Batch. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode seven and eight of season three of The Bad Batch. As of today, I am actually officially caught up to the rest of the internets watching The Bad Batch. Mm. Invincible coming out screwed me. So here we are. <sighs> I'm actually really excited to get into this because the last I watched in episode six, um, there was a uh, infiltrator. The name of the episode was infiltration. Um, but there are these like shadow troopers that are able to get in places and they're very ninja quiet. Uh, they're, 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 they're a little, they're a little scary, um, but uh, uh, I'm I'm eager to kind of either learn more about them or escape because they blew up any transport that we had on the top of our little uh, hidey hole, and um, you know we have Rex. I don't think anything's going to happen to Rex, but you know there there was a lot of destruction that happened, and uh, I don't know where that takes us into this next episode. Um, we're starting to get like really really juicy bits, but you know we also saw. Some of the troopers are not happy to see Crosshair. And of course, the, the brothers are, are Clone Force 99. You know, they're mad at things that happen with Crosshair, but like they have forgiving hearts because they love him. He is their brother. Um, but, you know, not everybody feels that way. And uh, I'm, I'm really wondering, you know, if we're going to see that everywhere we go or if people are going to learn to accept Crosshair. Um, because I've seen such a change in him, even though if for Crosshair, they're major, but they're still subtle. But him, like, you know, petting Batcher and, and like, kind of working with Omega and, you know, him giving them information when he sees that, like, you know, they, they need it. It's not that he's keeping it from them, but maybe he doesn't think something's relevant until it's brought up. Um, you know, the more that you see that he's willing to work with the rest of the clones and the rest of the clone troopers that are, you know, part of this whole rebellion that is starting. Um, I, I think, like, that's such a great character arc for him because, you know, him even seeing the error in his ways was huge, but him actually changing personality-wise, I think, is uh, wonderful. Now, we also see, you know, Omega starting to emulate him a little bit, you know, like the, the toothpick and asking him about, like, you know, uh, his hand, but also, you know, talking about actually being kind of a sharpshooter and, and what it means to actually be a sniper. And I think, like, you know, especially with Omega getting, like, her new crossbow gun, uh, I think that we're going to see a huge change um, with her and her accuracy and her ability, because she's going to listen to Crosshair. Like, she's got somebody new to study, and, and you know, she's going to emulate him. Now, we also know that the Empire is after her because she has a high M count, which I think we pretty much expected. Just when Nalase was like, uh, zoink, and we're going to throw that away, I think we pretty much knew that she was going to be the clone that had a high M count. And I don't know, I don't know why they're deciding to, like, test clones, I guess maybe because they're disposable, which is a horrible thing to say. But for the Empire, the clones are disposable. So why why don't we run tests on them and see if they have an M count? Like, I'm pretty sure that, like, you could find other people with high M counts. But the transfer that they made was unsuccessful. And it makes me think of, like, the, the you know, uh, where we have Moff Gideon in the tubes and, you know, we have Snoke in the tubes. And I'm I'm just like, oh, that's what they were looking at when that door opened was, like, a you know, discombobulated body. And I don't want to think about it, but, you know, uh, definitely, whoo. <sighs> Cloning has never turned out well. <laughs> and and they, they did it well with Django Fett. And that's about it. After that, it has been just not good. And, and maybe it's because it's the Empire and maybe Nalase is doing more to sabotage everything and not really giving them all of, like, her knowledge. And, you know, it's it's kind of like she put, like, maybe a little code in there that's kind of like the Death Star. You know, that there's, there's this one thing that will blow it all up or will always make it to where it's impossible to clone correctly. Because even the Emperor at the end of uh, The Rise of Skywalker, you know, he was looking rough. 
you know, and of course, taking life force is what like, you know, getting high midi calorians, you know, a high M count, <laughs> sucking the life out of two really strong Jedi, you know, is is, is what kind of healed him and made him whole. So, you know, it, it, it's kind of been a failure time and time again. And it really is probably the introduction of the M count. Um, cause we obviously, I don't think Django Fett had an M count or, you know, Boba Fett was force sensitive. How Omega is, I think, you know, I think the force just randomly chooses whoever is going to be, you know, their person is just like, I bless you, Omega, with a high M count. I'm not sure, but I think it's just fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. So I'm really excited to get into these episodes. I'm going to catch up with the rest of the internet. Of course, this is probably coming out a couple weeks after I've watched it. So I do apologize on my lateness. We are going to try to catch up as quickly as we can. Uh, but the full-length reactions are available on my Patreon. So if you want to go over there and watch those, those are also available to you. But guys, let's get into it. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I missed the episode name. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. God, they do those long shots so pretty, and fire always looks amazing. Is there another way off this spire? <laughs> There's always another way. <laughs> and you're probably not gonna like it. Oh, down a ladder? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> What's that? Couldn't see what was on there. Want to tell me why this spire is, is burning wolf? when our primary objective is to retrieve the target so like... unarmed? I'm now in charge of this operation. Is that clear? <sighs> We're moving in. Yeah, I feel like that's not clear. <laughs> I feel like he's still gonna do his own thing. They're escaping through the middle of the spire. We'll pin them inside. Team two, hold your position and stay alert. He's gonna go down that hole, isn't he? Yup. <laughs> Sir, the operative has gone after the target. Should I pursue? Negative. Seal off that access point. Yes, sir. How do they even know that the operative is working for the Empire? It could just be some, like, rogue dude. Like, he didn't ask for, like, any identification or anything. He was just kind of like, Okay, <laughs> I guess you're here. You answer to me. Oh, God, I could simply not. Oh. <laughs> that would make me so sick to my stomach. They're coming. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, he will. Oh, yeah, he will. You got this. You got it, you got it. I love when Crosshair does Crosshair shit. Like this. Dope. This guy's got like nine lives. So if the ship doesn't have a hyperdrive, they're not gonna make Bring it very it far. I'm waiting on you. Get down. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> she only bites half of the time. <laughs> She's a good puppy. Well, that's a good way to kill your target. They're gonna crash. That's a cool shot. He could have easily have killed her. <laughs> You've jeopardized this mission. I prevented the target's escape by shooting down her ship. Oh. Our orders are to retrieve the girl alive and unharmed. Exactly. Their vessel crashed in the upper jungle region. This isn't over. Good. <laughs> I don't know why this, like, badass operative getting uh, an earful from Wolf makes me really happy. Because, <laughs> like, is Wolf in Rebels? Is he with Gregor and Rex? Oh. What if they see each other? That'll be interesting. Was he with them? I can't remember. I think he's the one that, like, betrayed them. I can't remember. Got your crossbow. Yep. 
Can you give her a lesson? You can carry those supplies. Yes. Stay close. It's easy to get lost in this terrain. Look at him. Uh huh. I'm much worse. <laughs> Echo should meet us at the extra. Exactly. <laughs> those two clones looking at each other. Absolutely. This is a different guy right here. I've seen how you are with the kid. Your point. You've changed. Well, you're different than you were on Rylov. Yep. So, what changed? <laughs> A lot. Gross. Loyalty meant something to me. But with the Empire, it didn't go both ways. I realized how disposable I was. Yeah. You're not the only one. I love that. I love that moment. They trust him. It's huge. We have a problem. The operative's gone rogue. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with him later. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things. It's like, he's not one of my monkeys. He shouldn't be one of my problems. This episode is so dark. I'm glad the operative has like those green things so I can like see that it's him. We have to knock through their line to reach the extraction point. We've got these. Oh. Like real grenades? Oh, smoke grenades. I was like, are they gonna blow them up? <laughs> stick by my side and stay down. I love how protective he is of her now. But not in a desperate, like, emotional hunter way. Like, just very methodical. Like, you stay close to me. Follow me. Do it this way. Ooh. <laughs> Great team up. <laughs> They're just taking them and dragging them into the mist. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh. Did he just die? I'll draw his fire. Get to the rendezvous. I don't like that idea. Yeah, me either. I was actually just thinking that I'm like really thinking of Crosshair as like my favorite clone, and the last time that happened, Tech died. I want him to have an arc where he ends like in a happy place, like on the beach, the drink in his hand. Or his favorite gun. I don't know. Whatever makes Crosshair happy. I'm like pulling at my cuticles. I'm like nervous. I don't want anything to happen to Crosshair. Ah! 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 Whoa! Was that Crosshair that just did that? Dang. Full commitment to getting this guy. A knife, dang. You had your chance to be one of us. He didn't want to be one of you. Please don't get cut. Oh my god. Omega, shoot this guy. You chose the wrong side. Oh. Oh, please don't kill Crosshair. Please don't. Uh, somebody shoot him. Please? Oh, that feels like that would be death. <laughs> I love the little nod. Is it for us? That's nope. not Echo. Nope. But it is Wolf, so I think. Uh, I don't know what to think. Drop your blasters now. Wolf. Yeah. Rex. What are you doing here, Rex? Don't tell me you're fighting against us, against the Empire. They're imprisoning and experimenting on our brothers. 
The Empire wouldn't do that to us. Mm. She has seen it. It's true. That's what's happening on Tantus. And Crosshair. You can stand with us. I am a soldier of the Empire. I have my orders. Hand the girl over, and I'll make sure you're given a fair trial. That's the thing Crosshair would say. is like a good soldier. Just irritate the hell out of me. So there's an unmarked vessel inbound. What are you going to do, Wolf? He's going to let him go. He has to. God, I love Rex. Commander, stand down. But, sir, uh, they're traitors. Perhaps. But they're clones. Hmm. We owe them that. Yeah. They're brothers. Thank you, Wolf. Oh. Yeah, sure, the operative made it. Why not? Another one of his nine lives. It's like the third or fourth time he should have died. Rex, you can't win this fight. The Empire is too strong. Jeez, Hunter. I can't just walk away. Not now. Yeah. And neither can you. And if you want to keep her safe, you need to find out why she's so important to them. Hunter will do anything to keep her safe. Okay. I did it. Okay, an episode where there's a little bit of light. The past ones have been like so dark, it's hard to see. We need to know more about why Hemlock's after you. Until then, you have to lay low. Mm Hi, -hmm. hey, incoming transmission from Fee. Yay, Fee. Who? Oh. She's a liberator of ancient wonders. <laughs> Pirate. She's a pirate. Kind of had a little thing going on with Tech. Mm. Makes me so sad. I wanted to see Tech with her so badly. Certain Class 1 bounty hunters have been retrieving M-count targets for the Empire. Why? Mm, great bounty hunters. What's it mean? Don't know. You're better off asking a bounty hunter. We have run into a few. <sighs> so we can see Cad Bane. Phoenix. Oh, Fennec. I forgot about Fennec. We can't trust Fennec. Not around Omega. Agreed. You and I will go alone. Very this smart. This isn't a debate. <laughs> yeah. Stay on Pabu and stay out of trouble. Both of you. Fine by me. <laughs> See if you can convince him to get his hand looked at. Ignoring it won't make the problem go away. Yeah. And also, maybe get target practice in. <laughs> CD. I like it. Seems like a place where Fennec would hang out. Be careful what we tell her. Is that what she looks like without her helmet on? She looks like Drummer from uh, The Expanse. Move. In the middle of something here. Not anymore. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finish this later. Sit down. I have no business with them. You do now. I love the lighting in this. How is Omega? Well, about that. We're here for information. In that case, it's going to cost you. It always yeah. does. We figured. <laughs> Get out. I'm so offended this bounty hunter was mean to me. 
and count targets. Why do you want to know about that? That's our business. Mm -hmm. Good job, Hunter. I haven't done one of those jobs myself, but I might know someone who has. Can you put us in touch with them? Cad Bane? Now that will definitely cost you. But we might be able to work something out. Uh-huh. Help her with a, a job. You're good with demolitions and ordnance, right? Mm. <laughs> good. I'm the best. Yeah, you are, buddy. And you're the tracker. Yeah. What's your point? There's a bounty I've been trying to bring in, but he's been hard to catch without a crew. Oh, so you want us to work with you? For no. you. You'll be working for me. Yeah. And so we're clear. I keep the payment on the bounty. All of it. Cool. They're used to that. They work with Sid. Good job! How does your hand feel now? The same. Unfortunately, it may never heal 100%. Cool. There's nothing else you can do? Perhaps the issue is not something physical. I... You think it's in my head? No. If you were to elaborate more on the experimentation you were subjected to, yeah. I could determine the cause. <sighs> Forget it. Oh, crosshair? You gotta talk about it! It'll help! You've been traumatized! Oh. Wanna tell us who it is we're going after? Silas Saris, the Slayer of Ordo Oh. One of the slipperiest marks around. The other hunters that went after him never came back. Great. Sila knows the planet like the back of his claw, but eventually everyone's luck runs out. Well, this should be interesting. I love an animation we get like the really kooky looking aliens like he's definitely got some praying mantis vibes going on. I like it. I need a boat with speed and not something that'll capsize like last time. <laughs> so she's been here before and messed up. Gotcha. Ten for that. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I thought they were gonna get her a better boat. They just gave her a cheaper price. It still looks rickety. Yeah, whoever comes up with the designs for these things, they're like, they have so much fun. They're like, oh, let's make this look like something that you'd go on the Everglades, but Star Wars. The area we're headed is extremely hostile, so always keep your eyes on the water. Mm. Why? What's in the water? Crocs. Let's just say I'd never go in it. What are Star Wars crocodiles? Or alligators? Whichever. Okay, take it back. Not Everglades, New Orleans. <laughs> it definitely gives a New Orleans vibe. Okay, well this is where the people never came back. There's some type of mine up ahead. Better get in there and check it out. But you said you never go in the water. And I'm not. You are. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta do the dirty work. Oh, it was a really gross, icky, dirty work. Ew. You can see why nobody ever came back. There are dozens of them. We go over them and boom. At what if you on the right track. What if you send the boat across them without you? We go this way, and we have the element of surprise. It's risky. I don't know. You got You're this, Wrecker. You're explosives expert, right? Yeah. You want that information? Oh, no. I don't know. Careful isn't really something he's good at. Did he disarm all of them? Finish? Not even close. Oh, man. It's like already sunset there, so it's gonna be dark by the time they're done. AZ might be right. Whatever they did to you on Tantus could have affected you more than you realize. No, 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 it's not in my head. Just because there's nothing AZ can do doesn't mean your hand can't get better. And you're not making Maybe it up, it happened. You're the one who has to fix it. Mm. How? I have an idea. 
but you're gonna have to trust me. Okay. I'm not gonna like it, am I? You don't like anything. <laughs> Except Batcher and you. Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Come on, Fennec, you're a better shot than that. Let's go. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. Oh my god. I can't tell if it is Florida or if it's New Orleans, but either way, yikes. Nice. Uh, I think. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> that was an awesome shot That's with Wrecker. I never go in the water. But word, girl, word. Jesus. Maybe you guys aren't cut out for this job. Oh, you think you could do better without us? I wouldn't be doing any worse. Oh, Even really? Omega got away from you. Apparently, she got away from you, too. Don't say any more, Wrecker. I didn't lose Omega. I let her go when the bounty was called off. By who? The client. They thought Omega would be safer with you guys. Guess they were wrong about that. Oh, girl, well, watch it. For anybody as long as you get paid. Good guys, bad guys, their money is all the same. Money's not everything. Yeah. And that's because you don't have any. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you might want to cut your light. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, you guys are really bad at sneaking up on people if you got that light on. Oh, oh, oh. are gross. Nice, Wrecker. Don't... I keep... Yeah. I keep getting worried that there's a trap door. Yeah, like that. But they would just fall through it. You think I'd let you slip away from me again? Got him. Baby <laughs> Oh, oh, I guess you cannot stun him that easily, huh? Yes! Let's say, come on, Wrecker. Oh! Okay. Oh, he's got to get stunned a lot. Dang! Oh, you were right to bring us along. I'm mm -hmm. always right. Grab it, let's go. <laughs> and very humble. Oh, they're meditating. What are we doing? It's meditation. It'll help you heal. Not just your hand, but your mind too. Mm -hmm. I doubt that. Aww, just believe in yourself. <sighs> now... Adjust your position and breathe. Now, close your eyes and focus. I love how this came back to help Crosshair. Oh, what a great shot. Oh, <laughs> what a great shot. <sighs> Pleasure so doing they did all of that to Hang just on. get some information of where you to find another bounty hunter. I didn't say I had it on me, but I'll get it. That's not what we agreed on. You can either fight me or trust me. Take your pick. Don't have much of a choice. Good choice. <laughs> I just finished a job with some clones. They were asking about the Empire's M-Count bounties. I'm sure you can track them down easily enough. I'll send you what I have. 
Oh, what if she's in touch with Ventress? I was thinking another bounty hunter like Cad Bane. I was like, why would she talk to Cad Bane? But... Huh. Okay, so we saw Wolf uh, in the first episode. It's funny because, like, I've gotten used to, like, trying to look at the armor to see if I recognize anybody, and I saw that wolf, and I was like, ooh. But I'm glad that I looked up, because for some reason I thought he was dead, um, which isn't the case, but he was the one that uh, did be betray uh, Kanan. Woo! Sorry, uh, uh, with Rex and all them, but like I was just like, oh shit, who is the Jedi they were working with? Obviously Ezra, but also Kanan, because Kanan didn't trust them because they are clones, and obviously what happened to him, I totally get it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I knew at some point we'd probably see Wolf, but I didn't know in what capacity. Uh, I, I love him for letting them go. Now the operative, whoa, uh, nine lives with that guy. When it comes to the operatives, like I want I want more information. I want a little bit more background. I want to know more about this M count thing as well, because obviously we know it's like they're trying to find people who are force sensitive. Um, but like, just like who Fennec was talking to, I think I was like, I was like the only other like bounty hunter that like we've been in touch with throughout this series has been Cad Bane. Um, so like, obviously that's not a thing. Um, but it, it would have to be Ventress, right? Mm, I don't know. Possibility, possibility. Um, but yeah, I want to know more about the operatives. Just like how, I don't know if they have like a different chip. I mean, obviously they tried to make Crosshair one and he was not a good fit because he was kind of denying them. Uh, I don't want to say denying them access, but like he was no longer loyal to the Empire. So his brain just wasn't going to work that way. But I'm glad that we're concentrating on how his brain works because, you know, AZ was correct. I didn't want to, I don't like when they say it's in your head. I don't want people to say, like, it's all in your head, like, it's just something that you're, like, you know, like, you can't fix. But it definitely is something he could fix by, I don't know if meditation is the best way. Um, I think talking about it really is the best way. But I think Omega's on the right track, is, like, quieting a lot of what's going on in Crosshair's mind for him to think clearly and say things a little clearer. And to be able to, like, work his way around what he's gone through, because he has gone through some severe trauma. I like absolutely love this bonding that we're getting not only between them two, but like, like he's being fatherly to her. It's not just a, a an old, it might, might be a, a bit older brother, but like when she's like, oh, you're just as bad as Hunter. And he's like, I'm worse. I like really like that because that is such growth from Crosshair to one, admit that he's protective of her, but he's not protective in an emotional way. Like Hunter is where he's kind of desperate to help. Like he's very like, like, cut to the chase, this is exactly what I want you to do. And and I love that for their relationship. And I love that the other clones saw it and realized that he was a different person. And and that moment alone, like, gained so much trust. Uh, oh, damn. And I didn't want to say it. I was like, I was like, Crosshair is quickly becoming my favorite clone. I don't want to say those things out loud because that's normally when people die. Yeah, I think it was like, three or four episodes before Tech died where I was just like, I was like, Tech is my favorite clone. My God, I love that guy. And then we saw what happened. So I don't want to say those types of things for Crosshair, but I do love that we're getting this huge character arc for him where he seemed very one note and where I was just like, oh my gosh, just leave him behind to where I was like, ooh, that's interesting. I like watching him do his thing, but also I can see that there's a conflict that he's having and then him kind of seeing the truth of everything as it is and deciding for himself that he was no longer going to be part of it. Um, and, and even now, just with like the bonding with Omega, the bonding with Batcher, the way that like he has taken to the other clones where it used to just be like he was a good soldier who's following orders. Now it's more like a brotherhood that he's entered into and that he's accepting of. I love that for him. Ugh. But then, of course, we get Fennec. And I love anytime Fennec is around. She's right there on my shelf. Uh, I, I, I love Fennec. 
Um, it's so funny though, the second I saw her, because I, I guess I'm not used to seeing her without her helmet on, I was like, that looks like Drummer from the Expanse game. Um, very, very similar. And I love that because like I kept just kind of seeing it. But then like I love her as a character because she's, you know, very, very much Fennec to her core and she remains to be that same person. Uh, so like when, you know, they ask a question like, you want us to work with you? And I was like, no, for her. You know, she's like, you're working for me. I, I love that we can depend on her to be Fennec every single time. Um, and, you know, she is typically true to her word. I don't think she's ever done anything dishonest. Like if she's made a promise to somebody or if she's like said, you can trust me. I don't think that she's ever gone back on that. So like an honorable bounty hunter. I don't know. I mean, I, I loved her in Book of Boba Fett. She's probably one of my favorite parts of the entire show. Um, well, it's so sad because I really liked Boba Fett in The Mandalorian and then they made him a mayor and it just ruined everything and then made her like a side character to him. Uh, so I love when she gets to shine on this show. Um, but I, I love the mission that we were on, except like nothing, like you got nothing out of it. Like the, not us, like we got great viewing and great storytelling and got to meet Siler or Sy, Sy, mm, Silas, Siler. Anyway, cool bug. Took a lot to stun him. But, you know, we got to see our guys work with her for her. <laughs> but, you know, uh, we didn't get anything at the end of it. They're just kind of left sitting there staring at her ship. And, like, you know, she kept her word and she's going to reach out and give them information. But I definitely think, uh, you know, them walking away with no information and nothing physical to take with them. Like, it's, it, they might feel like it's a failed mission until later on when she actually gives them uh, info. I'm really looking forward to that. But guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to these episodes, they will be available on my Patreon. Uh, and I know I'm behind. I'm playing catch-up. Uh, but uh, I'm really excited to be back here with the Bad Batch, with this team. This season feels different. It feels... Um, like there, there's, there hasn't been any like major lulls or, or boring parts. Cause sometimes there's like parts where I'm like, where is this going? Where's this leading to? And I will say the, the Kashyyyk episode that Omega was talking about when they were like doing like the meditation and stuff. I'm like, I guess that's great for Omega. I'm so glad that they were able to tie it back to this and help Crosshair. I was like, what a great little tie in there. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if we'll see Gunji again. That'd be great to see him again. Uh, probably a little bit older, a little bit taller, a little bit hairier. Yeah, it'd be awesome. But guys, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. What did you think of these episodes? And uh, were you happy to see Fennec? Because I know I was happy to see Fennec. Uh, were you happy to see Wolf? Did you recognize him right away? Um, I'm, I'm really proud of myself that I saw that. But I, as soon as I said it, I was like... God, I hope that's him. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy that it was. But it was nice to see Wolf again. Um, and uh, yeah... I, I'm, I'm really looking forward. I mean, I think everybody is excited to see Ventress. Um, I don't think anyone is like, kind of like, oh yeah, they can wait till the end for that. Like I want her and I want her now. So I'm really excited to, uh, get back into this series, but also to go into that territory. It is super exciting. So guys come back here for the next couple episodes. And in the meantime, I'll see ya.